Alex, today Cyclone fans got to see the Iowa State offense clicking on all cylinders as all five starters scored in double figures. The efficient Cyclone shot 50% from the floor and pulled away from Iona for a 94-81 win here at the Pepsi Center. One, two, three, we played well. When we were able to spread the floor and make the extra pass, and then we're making shots were really good. While George Niang led the way with 28 points, it was Monte Morris that stole the show. Morris battled back from a shoulder injury to score 20 and dish out eight assists. He was great today. I knew he was going to have to play and play well. When Monte's played well, we've been really, really effective. You know, I'm going to play like this. Um, you know, so as long as I stay healthy, pray to God I stay healthy. So I expected him to play great. Um, he's not arguably the best point guard in the country for no reason. We expect him to play great. Um, nobody can really stop him. That kid is a is a warrior. Uh, great to have as a teammate and the best point guard in the country. I mean, I'll say it all right. That guy's been nothing but a blessing to all of us. He's not a little man man anymore. You know, he's a veteran to this. It's his third year in the tournament. And it's awesome to see a shot. Look how it's looking, man. It's falling. It looks beautiful, man. It looks better than it did before. So, you know, maybe if he tweaked his shoulder a little early on in the season, we would have been way better, better position, higher seed. With their point guard on the men, the Cyclones notched one win in the tournament, but they know there's still a long road to get where they want to go. It's good to get by that first round. Everybody in this tournament that's playing right now is good. And then when you get in the round of 32, they're all even better than that. And so it just it just the stakes ramp up even higher. And it will be another mid-major for the Cyclones on Saturday as Arkansas Little Rock upset Purdue and stand between the Cyclones and a trip to the Sweet 16. Reporting in Denver, Chris Palmquist, ABC9 Sports.